There are new details tonight in the Sonia Khan murder case. She's the woman shot and killed by her estranged husband after posting about their pending divorce on TikTok. Now Khan's family is suing her Streeterville condo building, claiming the building knew Khan's husband was a threat and let him in anyway. CBS 2's Tara Molina has the story. Sonia Khan's family says her estranged husband was known to be a threat and was banned from this building. But because protocols weren't followed, he was able to get inside this summer with the worst intentions, and it's all caught on their surveillance cameras. Take a look at your screen. This is surveillance camera video from throughout the building. The day Sonia was killed by her estranged husband before he turned the gun on himself. You can see him, Raheel Ahmad, walking into the lobby with two large packages in his hands, never checking in with the front desk. You see him meet up with a rental agent. They get into the elevators, but he never once shows her or those at the front desk his ID. No one checks his bags. It didn't all start on this day, caught on camera. In December of 2021, Ahmad tried to jump out of the window of the building, trying to push Sonia out with him. Police responded and he was taken to a mental health facility. Sonia changed the locks and removed his name from the lease, filing for divorce in February and in the spring of 2022, notifying all parties involved in managing and securing the building, already aware of the December incident, of the threat Ahmad posed, not to allow him in the building. But months later, July 2022, the murder-suicide. Sonia Khan's mother, joined by her attorney today, says the building has to be held accountable. I really feel that someone needs to be accountable for what, uh, for the negligence they have done. I reached the building and their management company for a comment on this lawsuit. We still haven't heard back from them. If we do, we'll update this story online. But we did hear from the security company that's cited in the lawsuit. They told me they don't provide security for this building. Reporting in Streeterville, I'm Tara Molina. CBS 2 News.